Residents in one Buffalo neighborhood have been trying to get speed humps on their street, but when their efforts hit a roadblock, they called for action. Uh, some residents don't want the speed hump, but others do. They called for help when the project hit a dead end. Call for Action's Jeff Preval went to the neighborhood to get a closer look. Well, many residents in this neighborhood are both for and against this one speed hump and a former common council president is involved in all this. This proposed speed hump has brought about a lot of discussion in this neighborhood. This is Fenton Street in Kaisertown. About a month ago, Buffalo's Department of Public Works retained a consulting firm and determined that a speed hump would go at this part of Fenton Street. But that's right outside the home of former common councilman Rich Fontana. Fontana would not do an on-camera interview with us, but told me by phone that as a realtor, he thinks that the speed hump could devalue his home. Residents here have kept up the fight, however, for better safety in this area. For the safety of the children who live on the street, we have many um, young um, young uh, parents who have uh, children that are one, two, three years old, um, pets certainly, and property damage as well from, uh, you know, cars smashing into other cars and such. We've seen a lot since 1991. And after we looked into this issue, Fontana says that he won't oppose the speed hump going outside his house to be a good neighbor and so that the speed hump doesn't go outside another neighbor's home. There have been petitions for and against this speed hump, and the Department of Public Works says that the department has met with local residents. And the commissioner of Buffalo's Department of Public Works says with less opposition to this speed hump, that speed hump, in fact, will go in this location. We haven't been given an exact date on when that's going to happen. It will happen soon, and installation takes several days to do. Reporting in Kaisertown, I'm Jeff Perfall, News 4.